What's up, guys? It's your girl, Ja'Kayla A. I'm bringing you a different type of content today. Um, a lot of people that know me know that I do my own nails. I've been doing my nails for some time now, and now that's a new type of content I'm bringing to my YouTube channel. So here I am just pushing back my cuticles, um, using this very pretty rainbow stainless steel cuticle pusher from Amazon. This drill that I'm using is from Amazon. It is a McCart drill, about 60, 70 bucks, nothing crazy, and it gets the job done. I do, however, want to try the Melody Susie drill. I do want a different drill, but this one will definitely do. Um, this drill bit that I'm using is called a skiver bit. I literally want to add, at Wood Industries. I did not know it was professional only. I am unlicensed. I am a, like a at home DIY type of nail lady i guess i can't officially call myself a nail tech because i am unlicensed so a nail lady but um in order to shop at atwood industries you have to be licensed and so i wasn't able to shop there or get anything i just googled skiver bit and i got a two-pack from erica's something if i can remember i'll put it in the description or in the comment section i love this this is better than sandy band this is better than anything I ever tried to do to get cuticles off of the nail and mine get bad. Like I have a very hands-on job and my cuticles get really, really bad. So I do spend a lot of time just focusing on that area here. And I love this tool. I love this tool. I would never go back to anything else. I actually got this idea or heard about this specific drill bit from a nail technician here on youtube called tabitha i wish i knew her last name i would give her a shout out um i definitely will link her though below she is super talented you could tell that she's very experienced she also used this sphere like ball object to clean the skin area now i would not put this on the nail bed because then you'll get like rings of fire and you'll get layers of the nail that you are like cutting into it's probably hard to control this on the actual nail bed, so I wouldn't do that. But cleaning up my skin around and little pieces that I can't get if I do have dry skin, especially in these winter months, especially because I have dry skin, especially because of my job, I probably have really, really messed up skin around my nail bed too. So I was just using that to clean up that area. This is a cross cut bit. I was assuming that I was going to use it next later on for my final filing, but you'll see why I didn't even use that next. <laughs> but I have these tips, these Cosmo tips. This is a low C curve. It's a barely a C curve. And I have the stiletto tips and I get both of these off of Amazon. I wanted to do one stiletto on one nail and four squares so i have my regular low c curve square tips i'm not going to change that shape up i'm gonna keep that shape and then i have my already stiletto tips and i'm gonna do that on one finger um i have a hand that's already done i am right handed and that is my right hand so i did not want to do that on film i'm like that's gonna take a long time and i'm this is my first video i'm new nail a new nail girl and i'm new to youtubers being a nail tuber i did not want to do that on film that's gonna take a long time so i already had that hand done and you do have to shape that stiletto but you don't have to shape it as much as if i was just cutting it into a stiletto and anything to save time at this point i'm using my kds glue me and this glue had a battle with this thumb it was really acting a fool so there i am i put a little cute amount i probably put too little but then i went back in and i put too much i'm struggling i'm like oh let me put some more but then i put way 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 too much and it wasn't staying and I'm, me and my patients YouTube is going to test my patience, babe, because I barely have any. And this is going to be really some shit. So I said, let me let that dry. I'll file it off and try again. So I move on. I'm at the index finger. It's going just fine. It's actually kind of difficult, believe it or not, to put on these tips when my nails are long. Like when I did my right hand, it was no sweat because i didn't have any on my left hand but when you already have some nails on one hand and i like long nails i only wear long nails it was kind of difficult 
it's always kind of difficult even when i'm doing my you know sisters whoever's nails i'm doing even when i'm doing their nails it's difficult to grab a tip when i have on long nails and not not my sisters my cousins um so here I am. I filed down my stiletto. I already know when I wear these tips, they're pointy at the very top. But the two prongs that touch the nail, they're pointy too. I have to file those down. And now here I am at the middle finger. It's too small. The middle finger is too small. So now I'm reaching for something and I'm going to cut it off and start over. I'm thinking, oh, let me just lift it up and then dry that fast. This KDS glue dries super fast. I don't, I would never lift a nail up. I just thought it wasn't dry, but it was. So I had to go ahead and cut it and we're going to have to soak that one off. This actually is a really good glue, but you cannot apply too much. You have to have a very tender, very gentle hand and you have to just press on it firmly and you'll have no problems i usually do not have problems with this glue like ever so i got on what i could get on i'm going back to the thumb i'm like let me just file that glue off because i don't want bulk of glue on this thumb or really on any nail you don't want layers of glue on a nail under a tip i go in i think i don't put enough i don't put enough so i'm like let me add some to the tip and then put it on that never works for me. I have no idea why I thought that was going to be a good idea. I can't do that like that. I usually put the glue on my hand. I ended up putting way too much glue in this tip. I'm surprised that my hand wasn't like stuck together because that happens. Then you have to wait a really long time. Something that could be quick and it could just dry quickly when you take it upon yourself to pile it on it makes a very quick process a very long process at this point you can't see it you can't hear it but i'm getting frustrated like i'm over it at this point i'm like oh my god let me let this dry let's file it off again and let me try again so i wait it dries fast take it on off and we are now on the third attempt to glue a tip on this nail when you are filing with this diamond bit, this is not like carbide bit or anything like this. This skipper bit is a diamond bit as well as the um other two that I talked about in the beginning. I should have said that. They're diamond bits, so it is like a sanding band. It is not like um, very rough on the plate, on your nail plate. You're not filing it to file down layers of your nail. You're just filing it to get rid of the shine and to make a very dry surface. So when I'm filing this like three times now, I'm very light handy. I'm only trying to get that glue, that residue and that extra glue off of my nail. I'm not actually trying to file into my nail bed i have very healthy nails and i only soak my nails off i don't want to ruin that so here we are again we're a third time third time was the charm we got that baby on oh a headache baby a headache and it still is not perfect it's an air bubble at the very top and it really is like burning my soul to have it because I'm just that perfectionist type of person. I try to give myself the grace to mess up because I've only been doing nails for a very short amount of time. But at least it got on. So I moved to that nail, eventually soaked it off, and I got it off. When you're putting on a nail tip, you really want each side wall of the nail tip to touch each side wall of your skin, but not too much. You know, I don't want it to be on top of my skin. I don't want the nail bed to be covered. And then on top of that, the skin on the side of the nail bed is covered. It kind of has to be a perfect fit. So you don't want the tip to actually be on top of your skin, but you don't want any spaces in between your actual side wall of your nail and the tip. There can be no room there. So I had to take that first one off and put this one on which was just the next size up. And it was a fail. The size was right though. I just put too much glue. So I had to go in for a third time. Each nail that I messed up, I'm at a third go round at this point.
but I got it. I saw it was a little air bubble. Now, when the air bubbles are on the bottom, it's so easy because you could just put a little bit more glue. But when they're at the top, whew, a headache. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, cleaning out that dapping dish. And now here I am filing with the hand file. I am only trying to file to take some of the thickness off of the nail so that the area where my natural nail meets the nail tip can just be more flush. I think it just makes my application easier, especially if you're a beginner. Anything to make sure that we do not have lumps and bumps in our application. Between shape and application, I don't know which one is more important. I think that is what makes nails. So here I am. I got the Mia Secret Nail Prep. It's a dehydrator. I got the Young Nails Protein Bomb. That's the primer. Got this beautiful dapping dish that I got off of a lady on um, Instagram. It has a little jewel top. I love it. And that jar there, that's just a mason jar I bought from Walmart, is my Mia Secret Pink. That is the acrylic system that I'm using. That monomer is the Mia Secret monomer, excuse me. So I have the Mia Secret system here. Like I said earlier, I had the shape that stiletto. It is pretty much a stiletto. It could be like cool if you didn't shape it i guess um but i like a very pointy like kind of hurts you for the first few days i like my stiletto to be kind of painful for a few days i like it very sharp um i didn't even do it as sharp as i usually do but i had to shape the nails with the hand file especially the top of those square nails it was pretty much the shape i wanted but i had to just tweak it a little bit now this me a secret nail system I think that um, there's a, a YouTuber who is a nail tuber. Her name is Natalie, and she has been one of the biggest helps to me in doing nails. I watched her videos, and that's um, where I got the initial idea to buy the Mia Secret system. I knew that once I wanted to do nails, and I wanted to be completely self-taught until I had to go and get my um, licensing, that youtube was the way to go i got on here she is very um helpful and she has a lot of great advice for beginners this is an alpha brush and i'm using size 10 my brush is um a really great brush i wish that alpha brush had bigger brushes i recently spoke to somebody over there um just via instagram and they said because the kalinsky fibers are so expensive to uh fine and to source and produce the brush that they no longer carry sizes bigger than 10 and i'm heartbroken by it because i have such long nails and i have clients and um family members with such long nails i would really benefit from having a size 12 or even a 14 brush so if you guys know any great places to get a kalinsky fiber brush tell me in the comments i need to help Anyways, back to Natalie. She is the person that really like helped me a lot with doing nails. She doesn't even know this. She helped me so, so much. And the Mia Secret System, I have it because of her. This is, this is the system that she uses and the system that she does nails for like years with. Now, this has been a very big help to me because I am new and it's a costly thing doing nails or getting into any habit like this is very costly trying to make the doing nails a career path for myself and be an entrepreneur in this field is going to take time and it is going to take money so it was just easy it was a no-brainer for me to go for this system but the thing about this Mia secret system is that the actual i don't know if it's the the cause of the monomer or the polymer which is the powder but something about this system makes it very runny this acrylic system is very runny i find myself packing my long nails so much now it could just be the fact that you know Duh, girl, you have to pack the nail so much to build the apex because your nails are so long. So I'm not expecting that it wouldn't take time, that it wouldn't be timely. But I am dipping like five, six, maybe seven times to my monomer and my powder just to build somewhat a decent apex on my nails because the nails are long, my brush is small, and this um, system is very watery. 
I'm trying to have like the the lightest hand that I can while wiping because I don't want to wipe too much away. But it runs so fast, you got to continue to chase it. All of this to say that I will recommend it to any beginner. This system, this company in general, I will recommend it to any beginner. But I also um, am looking now. I've only been doing nails since May and it is currently November. But I am looking to change acrylic systems. Um, the nail by John acrylic I have, not the monomer. I want the monomer too. Any any acrylic that I have, I would like to have the monomer that corresponds. I just feel like that makes sense. Yeah, so for any acrylic that I ever have, um, I want to have the monomer to go with it. That just, I don't know, that just makes sense to me. So I'm looking into the Valentino brand. I'm looking into the Glam and Glitz brand. I have the Valentino powder and it works so well, even with the Mia Secret monomer. So I think that if I had the monomer for it, it would be a completely like different experience. I also have the Meraki monomer. Um, Femi Beauty loves the Meraki monomer. She talks about it all the time. So I got that. I haven't really had a chance to use it yet, but I also have some of their powder. So, you know, I'm around the way just like... Taking my time, not trying to build my collection too fast or anything like that. I'm not trying to be in a rush to do it. And um, just trying to take my time. So here I am finished. I took like 30 minutes. 30 minutes off of this video. Just acrylic application. Oh my gosh. And I did both hands back to back. I did my right hand off camera. And then I started filming my video with my left hand. And so I've been doing my nails for like no lie three and a half hours craziness so i'm cleaning out my dish there i do that immediately also clean out my brush immediately soak your brush in acetone and clean it out immediately do not wait so i got my cross cut bit i got it back on after i had that fiasco with the gluing the tips on look at how flat my nail is i'm really unhappy with my application i'm there i am checking it i'm thinking it's still wet and then i tap it and it made a hard clicking sound so maybe while i tapped it it was dry but it was not dry you can kind of see from the video it's clumping up my cross cut bit um give it now some time y'all just give it some time let it dry all the way like dry real good so yeah um what's that thing I don't know what I was saying, but my nail wasn't dry and I had to really check and see if it was dry and it kind of clogged up the bit. So I did have to use acetone to get it out. If you have one of those brush cleaners, a uh, bit, those brush bit cleaners, then you could use that. But that wasn't enough for me. So here I am doing my final file because when you are doing application, at least when I am, um, the shape gets very wonky. I'm just trying to get the square to be as square as possible and then trying to get my stiletto to be as sharp and clean as possible as well. I do need to go in with a buffer. That cross cut bit is really like a buffer. Like I said, it's like a sandy man. It is not like a carbide bit. It is not like a ceramic bit. I have both of those. It's not like those. It's literally a sandy band. I have these D&D polishes. Um... <clears throat> have a pink one a white one and a black one now these polishes y'all i hate these polishes it was my only option they are my only option right now because they're the only gel formula that i have period i have quite a few of them because they're very cheap where i got them so i went ham and i have so many but um i'm really unhappy with this formula performance and it's just so thick these polishes to me are so thick. The color ones perform quite well. I could see myself using them and like even using them up like this pink. This pink, me and this pink had no problems at all. I hate this white and I hate the black. This is what I was talking about earlier. I'm so sorry I'm jumping all over the place. My nail, it is so flat. Like, you guys don't understand. It is so hard to build an apex with that Mia Secret. And it is so slow drying, which is why my nail wasn't dry when I was checking it and filing it. And it, like, gunked up my bit because it wasn't dry. It takes so long to dry. For some people that are just learning, that could be a really good thing because you can move it around how you want and you can do what you want with it. But it is, like... 
a very hard thing when you become just a little bit more experienced and you just know a little bit more not much i don't know much about anything nobody doing nails less than a year knows much about anything but you just become a little bit more acclimated to how to lay acrylic i usually well, i would like ideally to do like a 4b method i don't have to be a 1b kind of girl but i would like to do like a 2b 4b method with me a secret that would be so hard to do baby i don't know if it's just my monomer acrylic ratio that powder ratio is very important i don't know if that's what it is but it would be so hard for me to just do a 1b 2b I mean, to do a well, one beat i cannot even imagine but like a two beat or four b method with that super runny acrylic and so my apex is not popping if my nails break in a week i don't know why but you know these are the stumbling box when you are just learning these are the trials and tribulations that you go through when you're diy and when you're at home self-talk so i try to give myself a little bit of grace in that area and not expect myself to be a rock star when i haven't even been doing it very long at all <clears throat> so there i am i'm polishing with this white polish i'm trying to do it as thin as possible because it gets so thick you guys like it gets so thick and it just clumps up you wouldn't even believe it so i'm trying to be really patient and just take a very thin amount I'm cleaning it up a little bit because I didn't have the sturdiest hand with it. But yeah, I really think that I will be trying to um, find a new gel polish brand, company, whatever. I don't know if I'll be like an all acrylic type of nail tech. I know one of those. And she just does not own nail polish. Um, gel polish. A top coat at best. A top coat, a base coat, and a matte coat. And everything she does is all acrylic. I'm not against polish, but I do have to have a better quality of polish that I am um, using. So, I'm going to be looking into that for sure. I'm thinking Madam Glam. Though Madam Glam is pricey, the quality of it seems very, very nice. So, here is my sun lamp. I think it is 54 watts. I just, just recently got this lamp off of Amazon when my previous one got a shortage. And I love this lamp. It really does most times if I'm not using this white or this black polish it gets the job done in 60 seconds if not less I don't really have a lot of issues with like I said the colorful polishes they will go right on two thin coats and I'm, I'm out of there it's just like a much better quality than the D&D white that I have and maybe it's maybe just the one I have I don't know and the D&D black that I have. They're both terrible. I really hate them. But here I am again. Yet and still here I am. Going in with my second coat. Because I've committed at this point to having this nail design. I wanted this cow nail design so bad. So. What are you going to do? You got to use what you have. Got to just make it work. And be grateful that I have anything. You know. So here I am with my second coat. Amazon has really been a lifesaver too. Let me tell y'all. I know a lot of people. They love to rag on the people that are purchasing the affordable stuff. The Amazons, the AliExpresses, the Bang Goods, the uh whew, I'm I'm not I'm not at a loss for words because there are many choices. I'm at a loss for words because there's too many choices. There are so many places that you can go and get affordable decor um decor decorations for nails and just all type of supplies to have really pretty nails there are also places that you can go and um get like certain dishes and things for you know storing your powder and storing your liquid in 
um, things to have on your desk, all these different type of things. But believe it or not, my Mia Secret System comes from Amazon. And it's been very useful for me as a beginner. It's been very, very useful and it hasn't like completely broke the bank. I have quite a bit of this system. Like I bought the really big pink polymer. I bought the really big pink powder. So I'm going to have it for some time and I am going to use it because I don't want to be wasteful. Even if I do try another system, I'm still going to use that one up or give it to another new nail tech so that it can be, you know, used and not just wasted. But um, it's been super helpful. I've already purchased the monomer like three. I purchased like three of the monomer. So I stay on Amazon. Amazon Prime will always be a thing because of me. <laughs> if it's just me alone, I'm going to be the reason Amazon Prime is always around. So y'all saw me put my pink polish and my black polish on top of my lid that holds my pink polymer. My um, pink acrylic powder. So now I'm using a dotted tool that I got in a kit off of where? That's right, baby. Amazon. And I am randomly at random. No rhyme or reason to it. I just don't want them on top of each other. Making cow print designs. I decided the stiletto will be pink. At first, this was going to be an all pink set. Um, white white and pink set. Excuse me. It was going to be pink spots on all of the nails. And then I was going to do a matte on top. And I thought that was going to be really pretty. But my application today was not on point. I definitely go harder when I'm doing my friend and my cousin's nails. But <clears throat> I ain't really do the most for myself today. So I didn't think that it would be really cute to show it matte. And also, I didn't really like my white polish. So I didn't want to show it matte either. I thought that I would save it by making it um, be a high shine finish. Because I feel like matte is pretty as I think it is. It really does um, reveal imperfections in your application. You cannot have imperfections in your application and have matte nails and think that it's just going to be okay. It's not. They're definitely going to show every little thing, every little lump and bump is going to show. This is my set I did on my right hand. That ombre nail, which is like a lime pink blue. And somewhere in there it looks like orange and purple. It's really pretty because when the colors blended, they made new colors. You know, primary colors. You know how that goes. So they made new colors and so it's like a rainbow nail. I really, really love it. I really, really love how that turned out. I would have liked to do that design for you guys. But like I said, I did that design off camera because it's on my non-dominant hand. I'm sorry, it's on my dominant hand and I had to use my non-dominant hand. Excuse me. Um... So, yeah, that was that set. That's me a secret colored acrylic, too. That is three colors out of the Neons collection that's available on Amazon. You get six colors in the Neons collection. I think under 20 bucks. They're very small, though. I think they're a half ounce each. But, you know, color, you don't use a lot of color. When, you, when it comes to color acrylic, you don't use a lot of color. You use a very thin coat, and then you build your clear over top for your apex and for your thickness. So... You know, I think it's worth it. I definitely will continue to use me a secret colored acrylics, even if I don't continue to use the standard system. They have so many great colors and they work just like any other colored pigment acrylic. And they are extremely pigmented. And those polishes I use for the dots, those are D&D. That base that I used on my right hand is a glow mixture that I made using me a secret pink and glow powders off of Amazon and a little bit of white. So I made my own glow powders. I tend to do that. Um, not make my own glow powders, but you can mix up acrylics to get a desired color that you want. You can make with white and clear, you can make a colored acrylic, you know, a very pastel acrylic. So think about stuff like that too, y'all, because that'll save y'all money instead of buying whole acrylic collections like I used to. Y'all will save money. Well, not like I used to, like I still do. Y'all be spinning. I got it bad. I need to stop. But. <laughs> Y'all will save so much money if y'all can just, you know, mix up and chef up your own custom color. And then it's really like something that don't nobody else have because you just made it right now. 
at your nail desk. So it's not even something nobody else could buy, you know. So here I am using the black and I'm doing the very random speckled design of cow print on the black with the, with the black on this hand. And y'all cannot tell and I'm so happy about it. But this black was fading around the edges. I'm like, what's going on? How was my black gel polish separating or being weird? So now I'm layering it to like rescue it. And I was just layering it y'all to, to try to save it. But y'all know you cannot do gel polish too thick. You cannot do gel polish too thick. Gel polish is meant to be put on in layers. Very thin. Very careful. And then it builds to being, you know, a full coverage. But, baby. I was just trying to save it. I was literally just trying to save it. So, I was just piling it on a little bit. As I saw fit. As I saw that it was, like, very scarce. And very, um patchy that is the word i noticed that my black is very patchy especially if i paint a full nail with the black if i use this black on a full nail baby we talking about patchy patchy ball spot patchy sour patchy cleo patchy you know what i'm saying like it's it's a patchy it's not cute it's not a clean application but it kind of worked in this design because this design is very forgiving. This design is very random. It's very artistic expression-y. It's, it's very forgiving doing this cow print or really any animal print because it's not supposed to be uniform. It's not supposed to be uniform. It's not supposed to look like a sticker that was just like put on the nail. Which y'all, oh my God. For Cyber Monday, I got some decals. I'm going to do a haul and I'm so excited. But anyways... Yeah, it's supposed to be random and rustic. I got this Zule nail adhesive. Shout out to my girl, um, Natalie, that I was just talking about. They helped me so much. I got these stones off of Amazon or Nail Supply Glamour. I do have genuine Swarovski crystals, but I only use them at requests or on myself um, for my birthday nails. I just like went crazy for my birthday nails. Only on a special occasion or upon request do I use Swarovski crystals. I feel like these much cheaper crystals give such a beautiful effect that it just makes Swarovski crystals not really worth it's not really I'm not really getting the bang for my buck it's not really worth spending so much more money to get the same beautiful effect on the nail um I do believe these are nail supply glam glam glamour now that I think of it excuse me also Natalie she sells um stones and they're beautiful and i've purchased them i love them this is me telling y'all that this uh D, D polish is so bad i got this uh purple wax picker it's a um, metal piece on one side and it's a wax triangle on the other side from amazon in a kit with some stones and with some um backup wax pieces okay baby amazon for the win Amazon or AliExpress for the win. AliExpress, your shipping takes too long. So, I'm going to have to throw you to the second place. Amazon definitely has the first place. If you want to be a nail tech, watch YouTube, do your research, and then go to Amazon. And don't be in a rush to build your collection. It's expensive. It's an expensive career path, expensive hobby. Even if you're not trying to be a professional, this is an expensive thing to do. So, don't be in a rush. So, here I am. Using the Zule nail adhesive, my cap broke, so it's over there to the side. I hope that I could glue it back on or something like that. It would be more convenient for me to use. But um, I'm not going to say it broke. It just came very loosely tied to the bottle. You know, when the cap sometimes comes off of this white part, that's just what happened when I got it. Um, I'm using that, though, to do cuticle bling. And I did about five cuticle blings to three around each nail. This is the top coat that I'm doing. It is a random top coat. I'm sorry, I can't even tell you the brand. I get them at random. Sometimes I get them where I buy my polish. Sometimes I get them off of Amazon. Sometimes I get them where I get my acrylics when I'm trying different acrylics. Like I, ha I have so much stuff. So really, if they offer a top coat or if I need one it's, and it's on the site, I'll grab it.
so here is the final nails y'all this is the finished product just showing y'all what it looks like now that i'm done i done top coated applied my stones and that's the finished product i got a little bit of transfer yes i did get a little bit of transfer that white after curing it so many times it still transferred over to the black when i was using that zule nail adhesive it did it twice so i have to step up my gel polish game altogether but overall i really love how they came out i like the finished product i was thirsty to do this design i love it so so much and i'm happy with the overall finish even though i wasn't happy in certain parts i am very happy with the overall finish my application could have been a little thicker but fair i think it's fair also it might look like my stiletto is longer that finger is just longer i also really love this design in my opinion this was the better design but i'm also just a color girl i love rainbows i love color i love things that are really girly so this design has my heart over the other one Yeah, and that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.